gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. If you have an iPhone 12 or you're thinking about getting one, whether you're getting the mini, regular, pro, or pro max, I think you'll be excited about this accessory, at least I was. You see, this is world's first MagSafe car vent mount magnetic wireless charger that is exclusively made for iPhone 12 series. Zero Wireless sent this to me for free to review, but they're not paying me to review this, so I'm gonna give you my honest, unbiased opinion, including some pros and cons about this product. Right now, I have been using uh, Evotech case, uh, this kind of like carbon fiber look, and it does come with this magnet that I'll be able to go ahead and mount this in my car, but the problem with this is, this is just a holder it does not charge the phone. Looks like this is gonna solve that problem. It's gonna be a mount and it's gonna be a charger all at once. So let's open it up, see what we have in the box first. You have this clip that will go into your AC vent, a USB type A to USB type C. You have a couple of extra magnets inside the case and you have this magnet itself. So I actually, did open this up before this video, but if you buy one, remember there is a plastic wrap that is covering uh, the magnet to try to block some of its strength. So you need to go ahead, take that off before it, this can work effectively. So what do we have? Um, going around, you have this knot at the end, and this is how you can mount this inside your car. Very simple. Now here's a cool part. So you have a USB type C port at the bottom. So you can go ahead and plug this at the bottom of this and this will go to your USB port inside your car. Now this is a 15 watt charger. Let's talk about that real quick. In order for this to be able to take advantage of fast charging and use its entire 15 watts, typically you need a 20 watt brick, but you can't really use a brick inside your car. You have to uh, connect this to a cigarette lighter or a USB port and typically none of them offer 20 watts of power. So just something to keep in mind. All right, so let's check out the magnet. First, I'm gonna go ahead, take this out of the case. And this is how it will mount. Now keep this in mind, the version I have, this is their Gen 1. Right now, if you go order this on their website, which is I think 40 bucks, but I do have a 10% coupon code, uh, you get the Gen 2. And the only difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2 as far as functionality is, the magnet strength is doubled in the Gen 2. So they kind of like reference Gen 1 for casual driving in the city, and Gen 2 is gonna be strong enough for off-roading. Now, I don't have the Gen 2 magnet to test, it's being sent to me. Once I get it, I will take uh, a short uh, few second video and I'll put a link to that in the description so you guys can follow up and see how Gen 2 is. But this is the strength of Gen 1 that you have. While the magnet is really strong, if you use a regular case that does not have the MagSafe magnet, uh, magnetic ring inside the back of it, it's not gonna work as effectively. So you do need to get something with a magnetic ring inside. Uh, obviously, you can get the Apple cases, and if you do not want to get an Apple case, uh, ESR has a case right now with a magnetic ring inside. I will put a link uh, in the description below as well. I think they're sold out. I made a video about that, and uh, just a couple days after that, they were all sold out. So we're gonna go ahead and test this with the uh, I uh, with the Apple's uh, clear case. There you go. So this is the Apple clear case, and voila. So as you can see, same thing. Um, it definitely holds really well, but you just need to be mindful of your driving conditions. Now the good news is, like I said, Gen 2 is the only one they sell right now. This is Gen 1 that I have here, and that one has double the strength of um, the magnets. So do use the link, 10% off. If you actually click on the link, the code is embedded into that, but if you just directly go to their site and you wanna order it, the code is Enforcer Man. I am super excited about this one, and I definitely highly recommend this one for anyone who has an iPhone 12 or you're, they're thinking about getting one. Now keep in mind, this is 12 Pro Max, which is a big boy, and this is the heaviest of all of them. So if you have the 12 or 12 Mini, obviously, 
um, they're going to feel a lot more secure than this big boy is uh, feeling right now. While I got you guys here, they send me another products. I figured we'll go ahead and check out together. They have these premium wireless earbuds. It comes with this and this really, really nice packaging. And inside you have this, I believe this is a metal housing. Uh, it just has their logo on it. You have a USB type A on one side and USB type C on the other side. So there is a small pouch. Again, with another USB A to USB C charger, as well as some additional ear tips. To be honest with you, I haven't gone and checked all the features of these earbuds. So I'm just going to right now in this video focus on its quality. I will put a link down in the description below. The same code I believe should apply in Forcer Man, but if you just click on the link, it's already embedded in there. So. Really basic. All right, so first impression, these give a lot more bass than my AirPods. It gets really loud. It's very bassy. The low is really strong, but the high, it's not as uh, as loud and as defined as I would want it to be. So if in general you like to listen to music with heavy bass, uh, whether it's hip hop, rap, or any other kind of music, or some 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 uh, some heavy metal, whatever that case might be, if you like deeper uh, bass, these will be really good. So right now <laughs> it's on their website for thirty bucks with the ten percent off. Like I said, honestly, <laughs> these are some bassy bassy. Uh, earbuds. So let's do a quick recap of the pros and cons of both of these uh, these units. The charger, it's a mount and it's a charger and you don't need any additional layers or adhesive, something to try to put inside your case. As long as you have a MagSafe case, you're fine. You just mount this and you're ready to go. It charges and it mounts inside your car. And I think that's brilliant. What are some of the things I don't like? Like I said, I don't have the Gen 2 to test, but Gen 1, I hope it was a little bit stronger, but if Gen 2 is correcting that, then that will be a mute point. The next thing I don't like about it, and again, this is not necessarily the flaw design of this product, this is just how cars are. In order for this to fast charge, you need about 20 watts of power coming into this, and almost no cars really offer that through their USB port or one of those cigarette lighters. So just kind of keep that in mind. That's really all I could think of about what I don't like it. And obviously the other thing is I really like the price. The earbuds, I think the quality for the money is honestly is on point, 30 bucks, super bassy. And I think they look really nice. They have some touch control, touch features. I apologize, I haven't looked at um, everything that does, but just purely based on the sound quality, it's definitely worth the money. What do I not like about this? I think the case is too big. Even though it looks nice and chic, if I want to put it in my pocket, it's just a little bit too bulky for me to carry around. Uh, so that's uh, that's the only thing you got to keep in mind. But just like everything else, you get what you pay for. Hey guys, future me, I was just editing the video and I read a little bit more about these uh, wireless earbuds on their website a little bit more and I found out why the box is a little bit heavier and it's bigger because you can actually use it as a power bank. So that 2,500 milliamp battery you have inside the case, you can charge your phone and your earbud. So I just want to share that piece because I'd said that's one of the cons. It still may be depending on how you use them, but um, at least there was a reason now you know what that is. So this was it guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I have a lot more uh, content coming up. So if you haven't had a chance to subscribe and turn on the notification, please do so. If you found this video useful, before you forget, please give this video a like. As always, don't forget to drop a comment down below. Give me any feedback you have. How can I improve my content? As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. Gotta hit the beat, beat.